So, the flagship for the second part of this year will be the Huawei Mate 60, which could look bulky. This could be a novel strategy employed by the business, but it also raises an intriguing prospect. Weibo tipster, Fixed Focus, has indicated that the Huawei Mate 60 would be wide, while the precise size increase is still unknown. The tipster did indicate that it might be for a unique purpose though. The Huawei Mate 60 may offer a new 5G solution, which is the perspective we are now beginning to understand. It's also possible that this isn't included into the chipset because it uses Qualcomm Snapdragon. In actuality, Huawei will only need to use the 5G modem separately if it uses the Qualcomm SoC and its 4G. This will increase the thickness because there is more module hardware. As a result, the business may guide us towards the 5G network using this tried and tested method that the tech manufacturer has already mastered. So, in addition to all of these features, Huawei is the first smartphone manufacturer to introduce 5G to mobile devices. The Belong 5000 5G chip and Kirin 980 chipset were used by the company to launch its operations. Huawei Mate 20X 5G was the first smartphone to be equipped with a Kirin 980 plus Belong 5000 processor combo. The device's 7.2 inches screen size made it enormous. In order to support 5G, Huawei constructed it so large to house the modem and chipset together. As the first chipset in the world to enable both standalone and non-standalone network topologies for 5G, the Belong 5000 also supports both. In contrast to standalone 5G, which as the name suggests, will have its own independent architecture, non-standalone 5G network design is constructed on top of legacy 4G LTE networks. Being a 5G product in its early stages, the phone included with a top-notch heat management system. So, what do you guys think about the upcoming Huawei Mate 60 series? Let me know in the comments down below, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video.